uh, for for those of y'all who are watching and the people who are watching in the future, this is just to go over Biozone uh, for the newer servers. Um, the long and short of it is, Biozone is the end game. Uh, Biozone is what we're working for. It's why I joined 73. It's why I joined AZ. And, uh, you know, it's what, what we're really going for here. Um, you know, When when AZ when when I joined AZ, um, you know the the old leadership had told me you know we're working for servers to server. I'm just like great, that's that's awesome. Um, I mean, but at the same time, their actions didn't really speak to it. it, it they 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 wanted to burn everything down. Um, Jester was all about making peace, right? Which was good in in some senses, but it, it really wasn't a um, it wasn't productive. It was too soon. Like, this is before even the second barrier dropped, right? Uh, I'm sorry, this is before even the first barrier dropped, which was just asinine. Um, so, basically, you know, we had to get rid of people who were not very conducive to server versus server, you know? The, the ones who are more controlly, the, the ones who are... Um, I don't want to see war hungry because there's nothing wrong with being a war animal, right? We're playing a game. This is about war, um, and there's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, there, there's a certain there's a time and place for it. And right now, a month before server versus server, that ain't, this is a, isn't a time for war. Uh, this is a time for where we need to grow like big and strong. I mean, honestly. So when. When we're talking about biozone, I'm talking this little icon up here. Where is it? Oh, it went down here. Okay. So, this is biozone. Biozone counterattack is the server's servers. It's the end game. It's the premier uh, experience that wasn't here first when I first started playing, but the first rendition was so much damn fun. Even if we got our asses handed to us, it was so much fun. Because you're talking four other guilds. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, a total of four guilds. Or four zones, servers, whatever. Going and fighting against each other. Not at the same time. Although in the end, you could. Um, all the zone, all the areas were opened up. Um, you could technically fight all four zones. Okay, welcome. Welcome, Mega. I'm assuming that's uh, Pony Boy, who's uh, chatting in the. You know, that whole Mega thing. I don't, yeah, that's how I put it together. But uh, anyway, so as you can see, Season 2. Uh, Biozone lasts for. <laughs> Biozone lasts for 35 days. This opened up last night. Uh, I stayed up till about midnight waiting for this to open and I fell asleep before it opened anyway. I woke up at like five o'clock in the morning, pissed off because all that sleep has just been wasted. Uh, but uh, yeah, like I said, 35 days, 35 whole days. You got a new Biozone Battle Pass, the Recovery Center, which they just came out. This isn't um, what they uh, did in, in the beginning. Recovery Center, I'll, get, I'll go over that. You know, you have the, the rankings, which ranks all four war zones. You know, currently 49. We're at the top, go 49. Even though I kind of hate it sometimes. Uh, you know, you have the guild rankings. The individual guild rankings in each zone are ranked against each other. And then you have, of course, the individual rankings. Who wants to be the strongest, right? Um, as you see, I'm, I'm 184. Basically, the when when Biozone first starts, it's all about doing invaders, which the Biozone invaders I'll show you here shortly. Um, you know, they give some decent rewards, and it's they're not that bad. I hate invaders as a principle, as and they're just so grindy, and the concept is just dead to me. Um, but Biozone invaders are not that bad. Uh, let's see. 
up here. So basically, actually I'll go over this first. Um, so just like zone news, just like when 73 just opened, um, we have progress. The bio zone progresses just like a normal zone would, just like a fresh brand new zone. Um, basically, pretty cut and dry. 15 guilds have that frontline fort, um, which is no different from a regular fort. So it's just they got to rename everything, I guess. Um, and that unlocks level four cities. Level four cities opened up in, in like a day or two. Everything is kind of just crunched down because it's all like compressed into 35 days, which is just so much fun, more fun, right? So you, um, you know, you can own a level four city, which is inside your own zone. Um, but before I go into anything else, let's show you bio zone. So as you can see, my, my indicator has changed. Um, okay. Let's see if I can get the zoom out feature. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. This is bio zone. This is one corner of the map. As you can see, we are stuck in one corner. There's a whole barrier going along down here. We have isolation. Oh, crap. Your sex is a little twitchy. Whenever I click and drag. So as you can see, we have isolation uh, levels. We have one uh, big old separator between the zones that we fight or the areas that we fight other zones in. Um, for a reason, right? You know, we have the separation, le the level two separations. Cities, laboratories, I'll go over all of this. As soon as I figure out the damn zoom function. There we go. Okay. So, just as we have our own zones, so does the other zones. There are four of them, of course. But right now, I mean, unless uh, level or until level two uh, opens, we can't interact with these people. You know, isolation level one, isolation level two. In theory, we could go interact with them after level two opens, but we can't do that. Uh, we there's you can't get into the actual uh, separation zone until um, a very far portion of the uh, of bio zone is done. I'm talking like twenty days in ish. And, and you'll know, you'll know when that time comes. So that, that's a, a good time where people just want to kind of get out. Um, you know, some of the hardcore farming is done there. You can pick on AFK um, individuals, farm their bases. Um, you can just catch people up on, on surprise, right? Uh, but uh, anyway, so like I said, this is Biozone. You have your command center, you have your uh, level four cities which are, you know, obviously greater than level three cities in terms of difficulty and rewards. And they give great rewards. They also give glory points, which is your your personal score in Biozone Counterattack. Uh, let's see. Now, these four city or these uh, level four cities are gonna be the first to open. Once we take those, Command Center opens. After the Command Center opens, then, the isolation uh, zone or isolation gates open. They only open one side. Enemies can't get in. Side, can't get in. They can't teleport in until later in the game, or later in the event. Um, let's see. Oh, and uh, the isolation gates have to be broken down. You have to uh, defeat the invaders or the the bosses in each side in each one, just like the cities in the command center. It takes a shit ton of tier four troops, um, which is why it's it's key to have different marches of each and max style marches. Um, I'm talking like 200k marches each, you know. Okay, so just uh, as you progress, you know, once we break out of these isolation zones, the the Main two guilds are going to be building out, or main two or three, are going to be building out um, in each gate. Um, you'll have uh, towers going from here to the laboratory to the main city, which is the level, I guess, six city. Because um, uh, these ones are level five. Uh, you have your two laboratories here, which spawn their own units, which that's another fun thing that I have to go over. But uh, once these... Uh, Barriers open, we build towards Cincinnati, Laboratory, then we connect to Indianapolis. 
Um, we can only build one fort. Uh, but as many towers as needed. These don't take up our own towers. We don't have to research anything. Um, the only thing we are going to end up researching is the, the buffs. Um, like burning boost, uh, march speed boost, or defense boost, attack boost, that sort of thing. There are guild skills that we can only use in Biozone, so that's why we need them maxed out. Um, and so basically once level 1 opens, which is like within a week of Biozone, you can go freely attack, or, well, you can freely attack anyone who's outside their own base, outside their own zone. Uh, and so people will build out here I've seen people drop a fort out here which is ridiculous um, but like any guild can can necessarily build in biozone it, they don't have to there's no power difference there's no power limit as long as you're able to build a fort you can build one in biozone um, I mean but you can openly hit anyone who's in these areas once your barrier is down. Um, that's why if you're ever out here, always be with shield. Always. Um, and give me one second, let me check some. You know, I thought we would have a bigger crowd than this, per se, but... Wait a second. How's the volume, Mega? Um, it, is the music too loud? Am I too loud? Is what I'm saying makes sense? Am I going too fast? Good volume? Alright, thank you. I was trying to bust. Oh, shit. Well, they're the bio invaders, but I'll get to those here soon as soon as. Thank you. Okay. Thank God for stacks works. Alright. I'm trying not to make it too long so that uh, when you know the other guild members watch this, it's not just dry. You know what I'm saying? It's good information, don't get me wrong, but fuck, sometimes I'm dry, you know? Uh, okay. Alright, let's talk about the different things in Biozone. We've got... We've got resource tiles, better resource tiles, much better resource tiles. I'm talking here. Let's go find a let's go find a clean one here. You have up to level ten tiles, level ten. Now, of course, they're already mostly always taken, depending on on your zone. I, I think we're gonna ha be fine with with gathering, because at least, well, at least in my zone. Everyone takes all the level 10s, all the level 9s. I'm never, not really around to keep or to uh, gather all the good ones. Uh, but level 8s are still fine to get about 1.2 million uh, resources in each one. Because you see this level 8 oil rig. That's a lot of fucking oil. Just saying. Um, everyone's off attacking bio invaders, you know, or bio rebels, I'm sorry. Same shit, really. These rewards, they stack up. Um, you know, you get a lot of, uh, uh, voice crack. You get a lot of, um, XP. Now, these rebels, they go up to level 40 or 45. Pretty sure 40 or 45, somewhere or other. Um, what we did, um, uh, before Biozone started was a Bio Behemoths, which they'll add those here on the next reset here in about four minutes. I'll show you those whenever my game, uh, crashes. Uh, but basically, it's peace in here. the The key thing to think to remember is that we're not attacking each other. I mean, that's check this out. The person just parked right next to me, and we're we're just farming together. We're gathering together. It's it peaceful. Um, these are one of the isolation levels. I can't even scout it, but it, you know, as you can see, the Aquaman is an invader. Um, the rewards are immense. Uh, this is just like taking a whole new city. Um, you know, you get some good territory teleports. These are a godsend. Um, regular territory teleports are also a godsend. Um, just take a look at one of those cities, what they give you. Level 4 city. Come on. 
actually that's kind of worse but anyway the <laughs> like i said this is what you really want you want those glory points the glory points give you all that crap like go to north american glory there's so many objectives you have to do killing uh units from other zones reaching 25 2200 glory points is just the starter you earn different rewards going all the way up as you can see it gets quite a lot um uh, you earn glory points as a guild and for yourself um, as you can see it gets quite nice too very nice the more stuff you own the more points you earn I mean come on now that's what we want right there we want that Pentagon but I'll, I'll get to that here just shortly and then as a zone we also you know personal guild and then zone as a zone our goal is to work together and that's what we have been doing that's why we were building these strong alliances now not back when we were only like a hundred thousand fucking power you know you can have as many allies as you want but you only want the strong ones the ones who are going to last a while cam k yeah, they, they did actually last longer than I thought they would. You know, DOW, they were never going to be allies with us. They didn't trust me. They didn't trust us as a whole. We could have changed our name three damn times, and they still wouldn't have trusted us. Imagine trying to share government with them, right? Um, UK, we'll have our back. Um, I could just see it now. We're going to probably end up doing, just for demonstration's sake, we're probably going to have... Um, us build around the command center Milwaukee we're going to take Milwaukee or um, you know whatever cities to our uh, left or right uh, we're going to let someone else take a level 4 city someone else take a level 4 city it may very well end up having to be that we will help them take their own city it, it takes a lot of fucking units to take to take these these are solo marches and a rally at the same time um, you know max cap 2 million uh, rally plus solo marches you know you know how, how fast government was that, that's nothing i mean this these will take at least five minutes of straight up attacking um and your units will get at least wounded so you'll have to heal them um but the like i said the bonuses are, are, are worth it um the command center there's nothing really special about that outside of it's it's for the top guild um, as you can see, you earn guild glory points and zone glory points. You get a tremendous amount of uh, personal points for that. Real good uh, uh, benefits. I mean, the gold's there to be made. It's great. Okay. And as you can see, like I said, any guild can build in the bio zone. We can have HMK build somewhere off in, in you know, fucking Narnia. Or, you know, we have... The guilds who are not going to actively uh, fight, or, or at least uh, just there to build more resources, we're just having them build in the back. Um, whereas you know the main fighter guilds are going to be going, <laughs> we're going to be having uh you know the main fighting guilds build towards the the barriers. I mean, there's no reason to have, you know, I mean I, I think it'd be kind of funny if we had fucking uh, what's that one's fucking guild uh toy like built somewhere fuck off over here you know i mean j just for giggles right i mean i'm not an asshole but i feel i feel like we could have we could find somewhere for them to go the key thing with them building there is that they also participate in killing invaders and in gathering building glory points for all of us to enjoy their rewards are our rewards and our rewards are some of their rewards um uh, it's a group effort, and if they at least put some members towards fighting, or build some towers for us, or do something, there's no reason why we can't uh, help them out too. Um, let's see here. Reset should have just happened. Did it just happen? Yeah, it did. All right. Oh, maybe actually, I think, um, where the fuck am I going? 
and the Biozone's uh, Behemoth should be coming out here soon. Um, but uh, anyway. Let's just take a look at some other uh, rewards that we're going to be getting. Uh, level 5 City, Cincinnati. Um, as you can see, pretty damn good. That's like a, a level 3 City, I think, taking one of those. Um, and, you know, you just want those Guild and Glory, uh, Zone Glory points. I mean, and you get those nice buffs. Um, let's see, what does a level 6 grant us? As you can see, also pretty fucking substantial. <laughs> um, I'll talk about the uh, repair center here soon. But uh, the laboratory is going to be a... Um, laboratory, as you can see, is a... It's a buff. Uh, you occupy it... Right, that's what I'm saying. Uh uh, for the laboratory here, you occupy it, you send a few troops, you occupy it, you get personal and guild glory points, right? Uh, they also share, or I'm sorry, they also spawn uh, bio troops, which you fight, and you also get a lot of rewards for, you get a lot of experience. They're like um, red wolves, basically. They're the red wolves of Biozone. You go there, you fight them, you get buffs, and um, I mean, that's about it, really. For at least the laboratory. It's a good place to farm kills too, because people just leave their units just sitting there. Um, and both the uh, laboratories are the same, just like all the level 4 cities are the same, except for the level 5, of course. But uh, moving on in, we've got our siege turrets. Uh, first off, you have your level 2 uh, isolation zones. Um, these are imaginably harder. Uh, to, to crack open um, but worth it I mean um, if basically your your goal is to uh, press the other guild back into their zone basically burn all their shit and take all the cities for yourself and you'll max out your rewards you'll have a great time and your your progress and power you will skyrocket um, but anyway now, uh, once we've pressed all of our uh, all those people back into their own zones, uh, we take on the level two barrier. Level two barrier, same process. You go in, you smack it with a bunch of troops, break it open, and then you build towers towards the siege turrets. Siege turrets. Now, I haven't actually gone far this far in the bio zone. Um, our guild was kind of shut down by a crazy motherfucker. Um, but uh, I think he had like 141 million accounts and 129 million, all T5 stacked to the brim. Like this guy didn't even care he was losing T5 troops. He just kept on spamming them. Um, he never emptied out his garages. Um, fun to fight, except not. Okay, come on. Let me zone out. There we are. Now this is our end game. Obviously, we, we work so hard to capture government. We're going to work even harder to capture the Pentagon. As you can see, rewards are lovely. Unit production speed, 15%. I mean, come on. What is that? What is that shit? That is so good. Troop attack. You've got your glory, uh, glory points. If you haven't already maxed out by it, then uh, you'll max out by there. Um, and then, of course, you get the recovery center bonus as well. This is a new add-on. They just started this in this season. But you get 5,000 gold. I mean... Do I need to say anything else? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, let's see. I think that's basically it for Biozone. Any questions, Mega? Did I miss anything? Oh, duh, the fucking recovery center. All right, yeah, yeah, hold on. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, okay. So, recovery center. This was a new addition they included back in, at the end of, um, let's see, at the end of uh, season one. And I'm not even talking like the end of season, I'm talking like, we're talking like two weeks after the fact. 
uh, where they're like, oh, hey, guys, by the way, you don't lose all of your troops that you just killed in Biozone. We're going to give you some of them back. I'm just like, great. And you know what the first thing to do? They give me 12 tier 5 tanks. I'm just like, that doesn't seem right to me. I, I didn't have tier 5, but thanks. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, well, and, and they, they quickly corrected that issue. Um, so I had tier, I did have tier 5 at one point. I can, I can say um, I had 12 tier 5 tanks. Um, basically, if you lose some units, meaning your garage is full or you're off attacking some tower recklessly like a dick um, your units loss will appear here your current return ratio each range will give you a hundred will give you one percent more return and it'll show you how many you returned here and they are returned after when bios on ends that's basically it pretty simple right and then you get the bios on battle pass here pretty straightforward it's another 20 bucks to unlock the fast track which i did um, and you'll see here further you go you get more glory points personal glory points you get these uh these little beauties right here and these right there um so obviously this is a, a battle pass on steroids so you get another wrench right here um get some good territory you get some uh, emojis as well um overall not a bad battle pass at all that's gimme give, give me some of that <laughs> uh let's see you get that oof baby damn see it wasn't even this good back then and then of course you get a new skin um for Labna, which uh, we haven't actually had her in 73 yet we might have her one uh one of these uh lucky spins Yeah, I, I do too. But for, I think I spent over 100,000 gold just on concrete alone on my main account. Fucking stupid. Um, it should not be that expensive. It should be like 5 instead of 10. Um, oh yeah, so you can redeem your... Uh, it, they haven't... They, they don't have it yet. It's under... I think it would be under battle orders or some shit like that. Uh, but you can redeem your old badges. Um... Uh, you can redeem your little like officer badges and get uh, like really good items, get really good return rates on items. So basically badges you're not using, so like epics or, you know, um, you know, God forbid legendaries, which I, I knew someone who sold, who uh, returned over 200 uh, Natalia badges, which is, is just hilarious, um, at least to me. But uh, they, they were crying. They were pretty upset there for a while. It, it was a... Uh, so quite it was a ripping zone chat there for a bit <laughs> but uh anyway that kind of wraps up my battle zone counter attack um review like i said it's not hard it requires a lot of teamwork it requires a lot of time um but you get good shit out of it and uh if we work together i'm sure we can at least get uh get somewhere in this you know the precursor is the core gun and then battle zone counter attack you'll start off with um Oh shit, we just did this. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, you start off um killing the invaders, getting the um the the map pieces. And then you uh jump into the behemoths. Oh, I'm sorry, and then you go into producing units, and then you jump into behemoths. Um, basically you're, like I said, you're battling against four zones before a, an attack buff, uh, before getting into bio zone. So I think we got second place, which is like 4% attack and the, the top uh, zone got 5% attack, which is fine. Right. Um, but I think like the fourth guild got like 1% attack <laughs> or fourth zone. But anyway, I've talked to your all's ears off enough. Thank you for watching. Um, this will be available on YouTube. I'll post a link in the, uh, in the discord. So anyway. Thank you.